whenever i swipe down i have this brightness bar up front you won't see it if you swipe for one time since we keep changing brightness frequently it's good to have it when we swipe once instead of twice let me show you how you can fix it open your notification panel tap on the three dots select quick panel layout and enable this option called show brightness control over notifications once you are done you can easily control the brightness by swiping once on your screen if i press and hold the power button it opens bixby assistant instead of power off menu which doesn't make any sense to change this go to your settings and search for side key here you just need to change that configuration to power off menu similarly you can configure the double press action if i double press the power button it opens the camera by default but you can simply change it and open any favorite application of your choice now if i double tap it opens youtube which is definitely more useful for me the s22 ultra comes with a very small camera cutout but if you really want to hide this punch hole when you are watching videos on your phone you can easily do that all you have to do is go to settings display and then select full screen apps here you need to select this option called camera cutout you will have all the applications you have installed on your device just select the apps for which you want to hide the camera cutout if i select youtube now whenever i open the youtube application it hides the camera cutout for me next in the settings if i go to notifications advanced settings here i have this option called notification history once you turn it on it basically shows you all the notifications that you have received on your phone this can be super useful if you accidentally swipe down any notifications from the quick panel you can still access that notifications by using this amazing option not only this you can also see all the deleted messages from your friends in whatsapp if someone has deleted a message after sending it to you you can open notification history and still view the exact message which has been deleted next in the notifications if you go inside brief pop up settings you can actually customize the way how you receive notifications on your phone you can select from a variety of different styles you can change the color and even you can set the notifications to pop up with the color of your choice based on different keywords your keywords could be the app name email sender or anything you want if i open my notification panel we have this toggle called extra dim what it does is it basically dims the screen beyond the minimum brightness this can be super useful at night when you don't want to disturb others if you click below the icon and select details you can enable a shortcut for this amazing feature and not only this you can also increase or decrease the intensity as well so now whenever i tap on this shortcut it activates the extra dim feature so i don't have to open my quick settings just to enable this option now let's talk about the always on display if i go inside always on display not only it allows me to customize and change the clock style add stickers and gifs but you can also choose when to show the always on screen you can select tap to show show always and show as scheduled but i will recommend you to set it as show for new notifications once you set up this option your always on display will only appear when you receive any new notifications this way you can save some battery as well since you are talking about the battery if you select battery and device care then select battery go to more battery settings here you get this option called protect battery once you turn it on it extends the lifespan of your battery by limiting the maximum charge to 85% if you charge your phone at night then i will suggest you to enable this option it will definitely improve the health of your device battery next if you want to get more ram on your s22 ultra then go to settings device care and select memory here you get this option called ram plus just click on it and now you can select how much internal storage you want to use as virtual ram to improve the app performance this basically converts your phone storage into virtual ram and samsung lets you select how much extra ram you want on your phone it definitely improves the overall performance next if you go inside lock screen select smart lock you can find this option called trusted devices once you add your bluetooth device it can be your smart watch or bluetooth earbuds once you add them as a trusted device what it does is now whenever your phone is connected to that device it will stay unlocked and you just need to swipe your lock screen instead of using your fingerprint or password again and again i think it's a very useful feature if you are connected to a bluetooth device while using your smartphone Google Pixel 6 and 6 Pro has an amazing feature called magic eraser which allows you to remove unwanted objects from your picture. But did you know Samsung phones already have this feature for a while? All you have to do is 
Just tap on this edit button, click on this three dots and then select object eraser. Now you can do this with your finger and color the object you want to remove or just draw a circle around it by using your S pen. Once done, click on erase and it will completely remove the object from your picture. Next in the settings, if you go to advanced features and select labs, here you get this option called multi window for all apps. Once you enable this feature, it allows all the applications to open in a pop-up or split screen view, including apps that does not support this feature. Well, there are some applications that doesn't support multi-window. Let's say if I disable this feature and try to open Instagram in a pop-up view, there is no such option. Now if I enable this feature, you can see I am able to open any application in a split screen window. Next, if I open the phone dialer and go to settings, here you get the option to change how incoming calls appear on your screen. Select this option called call display while using apps and change to mini pop-up. Also make sure to enable keep calls in pop-up. What it does is, when you are using any application or playing games on your phone, if you receive any call, it notifies you in a pop-up window like this. So it doesn't take much space and you can continue doing your task while speaking to your friend. Samsung One UI has some beautiful animations but at the same time it feels quite slow. So whenever I get a Samsung phone, I always reduce the animation scale. So just go to settings, about phone, software information and tap on this build number for 7 times. Now you will have the developer options. Just go inside and scroll it down till you find animation scale. Now reduce all the 3 by 0 0.5. Once you are done, you will have much better experience and your phone will feel even more faster. With One UI 4.0, Samsung introduced one amazing feature called color palette. Basically it allows you to choose a palette based on colors from your wallpaper. So whenever you apply a new wallpaper, everything will change right from the app icons to the accent color. If you go to wallpaper and style and then select color palette, here you can choose a theme based on colors from your wallpaper. Next if you press and hold on the home screen and select widgets, there are three new smart widgets which now has been added with the One UI 4.1. These smart widgets allows you to combine different widgets all in one place. So if you don't like adding a lot of different widgets on your home screen, because it takes up a lot of space and it doesn't look clean. So you can just add one smart widget and combine all your favorite widgets in one place. You can add as many widgets as you want and access them by swiping left or right. This way you can save a lot of space and keep your home screen clean. Next, let me show you some useful tricks related to the S Pen. When you open notes and write something using the S Pen, you can easily convert that into a normal text. All you have to do is just select the icon that is on the bottom right side of your screen and start writing. It will automatically convert your handwriting into a normal text. I think it's a really cool feature. Using your S Pen, you can take more precise screenshots. To do this, open the Air command menu and click on Smart Select. Now you can easily select a portion of the screen that you want as a screenshot. Not only this, if you want to highlight something, you can easily draw using the S Pen. With air gestures, you can actually control your device. For example, in the camera app, you can use the button on the S Pen to click the picture. If you press and hold the button and give a circular direction, it will zoom in and zoom out. Not only this, when you are in the gallery, you can move your hand in the right or left direction to navigate and browse all the pictures one by one. I think these gestures are really cool and if you start using them, I am sure you are going to love it. Did you know even if your device is locked, you can still take out your S Pen and start writing all your notes. All your notes will get saved right from your lock screen. Guys, before I move on, if you love watching these kind of videos, then please do support this channel. We are very close to 200k subscribers. So if you haven't already, then hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon. It would mean a lot to me. If you are really concerned about your privacy and you don't want third party applications to access your phone's camera and microphone, then all you have to do is open your notification panel, tap on these three dots and select edit buttons. Here you need to add the camera and microphone toggle to your quick panel. Whenever you open any application that you don't trust, then you can quickly disable these two toggles from your notification panel and then the app will not have access to it. Samsung Keyboard has this amazing feature that lets you quickly write anything without typing. All you have to do is 
just tap and hold on the space bar and it will start typing whatever you say. Now to set up this feature on your phone, go into keyboard settings and select swipe touch and feedback. Then select touch and hold space bar. It will be set as cursor control by default. Simply change it to voice input and it will start typing whatever you say. Next, if you go to settings and search screenshots, you will find this option called screenshots and screen recorder. Simply go inside and turn on this option called delete shared screenshots. Now whenever you take any screenshots on your phone, it gets automatically deleted once you share it to your friends. So it will not be saved into your gallery and you will save a lot of your storage as well. You can also enable hide status and navigation bar. This takes all your screenshots without capturing status bar and navigation buttons. So all your screenshots will look more clean. So that's it for this video. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features that you should definitely start using on your S22 Ultra. If you have watched the entire video, then let me know in the comment section. Also, if you guys like this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.